Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Remake. Last time we made it over the wall and we're here at the Chingra building as you can see there. So let's go because this episode is going to be a long one and that building is actually pretty darn awesome. Now you might be wondering, huh, what's over here? Well, it's this door but it doesn't open or anything. There's no secrets or anything like that there. So yeah, let's keep going of course and let me get rid of these boxes and let's go so what have you guys been doing on your downtime I mean I've been catching up on a wet comic series called the Security's division 5 pretty tight huh. so they know what they're up against somehow I don't think it's all for us could be for avalanche or maybe even Wu Tai. can't be for Wu Tai. what about the ceasefire that only put the war on pause so, like I was saying before I was interrupted, it's actually a really nice web series. What comic series you choose, definitely read it. The artwork is great and everything and all the characters. So, let's go over here. We're here to rescue Aerith, remember? We don't need more attention than what we're gonna get. We need to be smart. Yeah, I hear you. But my soul's screaming for payback, you know? I'm a ticking time bomb. And sooner or later, I'm gonna have to blow up. Well, then make it later. Okay, so that was interesting, right? Now, um, you guys might have seen that we are not part of Avalanche anymore. Yeah, Avalanche has been... Uh, well, he's talking to it like a separate entity, so... Yeah, it, it doesn't look like we're part of Avalanche anymore. Which is interesting. Now let's get rid of this, and here's a treasure chest. Like I said, um, if you're wondering the weapons, the, the other weapons, you get them all inside the building. We are still not there yet. So don't worry, and they're actually not missable. There's only one that is missable, but just make sure you have 10,000 gil on hand. That's all you really need. So let's make our way down there. I, I just love that they actually added this little part here. It's actually pretty cool. That one there. That's a Shinra truck, isn't it? Come on. Yeah. Uh. How's it looking out there? Anything? Nah. All clear. Roger. Okay, head on in. <sighs> so far, so good. <laughs> Barrett, that ass got us in trouble. So we charge this guy. I'm pretty sure that license plate that said like Chingra 8 920 is probably like an Easter egg or something. Hey, what's going on? Taking over. Bring it on! The idea was to not get no time at this pretty officer. You never planned to be stealthy in the first place. You know what? I'm glad this game doesn't have stealth sections. It doesn't need them. You don't need stealth sections in the RPG. Well, in the original one, there is one, but it's, uh, I'm pretty sure there's, it's not here. It's really like a party now. 
and it's actually it's more cool. annoying than fun. Be a service entrance in the back. So let's see. I hope you guys cannot hear some weird noises. My neighbors and stuff is that my IC broke down, so uh, I got to have my windows open, and now it's just you know a pain to record. Because when you want to record, you want everything to be quiet, everything to be silent, and you know, by by me, but uh, what can you do? Let me break these walls. Let's dance, asshole. See some star shower. And maximum fury. Take it over. Down right there. Down right. Yeah, so basically this is kind of like a maze here. And yeah, we'll be doing the stairs and the other route. Don't worry about that. The stairs are actually pretty funny in this game. Push them back. Push them back. The guard dogs. Ah, uh, great. Too many people on Barrett. Oh, he's gonna use a throw clown. Not today. Ah, he... No way, he was... Targeting Tifa and then he went to life. No, I guess he's loud. Ah, uh, the last play curse. You don't have any problems until you hit that record button. If you guys don't believe me, check out what happens to Sugar Crown Royale almost 95% of the time. <laughs> That's actually pretty darn funny. Would love to make a collab with that guy, that would be pretty darn awesome. Alright, you can use it. On the soldiers. Whatever. I'm guessing they're even gonna get the uppercut. Man, Tifa can really hold her own. It's pretty darn awesome. Man, I thought I heard like knocking is actually the music. like that we're inside the building yeah, I'm not joking there's the security area and no you cannot enter it but we made it inside you can take the escalators but they're actually pretty darn slow and if you try to run up them it's the full speed so just sticks to the stairs 
we are. Nobody's home. Yeah. Do you have any idea where they might be holding Aerith? I'm thinking a research facility. That'd make the most sense. And where is that? Upper floors. Maybe near the top. That's where you are. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe we can use the console at the reception desk to find out. So this is the headquarters. This building is incredible. Huh. A shining monument to corporate greed. One of these days I'm going to tear it down and burn the rubble. But not today. Yeah, yeah. Now, in the original game, you take the route, the stairs, or um, the storm the building outside you actually get to be outside over here uh, but not here in this case now another thing that I really want to mention is that this is where you're gonna get your first uh, of the weapons and obviously I'm gonna show you and you're gonna get it really fast so let's do this I don't know about you but I don't think we should try touching it Shit, making life hard let's just keep heading up How do we get upstairs? Either the elevator or the emergency stairwell. Isn't the lab we're looking for on one of the top floors? I vote we take the elevator. Here we are now. No getting upstairs without a key card, huh? I think we're gonna need a few before this is over. Pretty sure I saw one lying around. Oh, the reception desk. Yeah, but how to get in? Go up and over, maybe? Look. Pretty sure we could reach it if we hop across those lights. I don't know. I think I'll give it a shot. As the lightest one here, I figure I've got the best chance. You two can sit back and watch. Another part of the game that I go like, um, did any of you can do that jump? Like Cloud can do that jump from down there. She doesn't have to come up here, but okay. This wasn't the original okay, game, guys. by the way. Wish me luck. You be careful. Aren't I always? Now, this is pretty automatic. You just have to press forward. There's nothing to it. You know, it, it's a nice little set piece, but you don't, do, you don't do anything here. And I have to admit, this building is way better than the one in Final Fantasy XV. That building sucked. Really have any place. Tifa! Oh shit! Tifa! <sighs> Are you okay? I thought I was dead for sure. Uh, I hate that it takes a little bit of time to let you control. Now, we're all the way up there, we fell here, but don't worry, we're okay. I don't know why Tifa said she thought she was dead. I mean, they have jumped from higher places before, so. I don't see big. It's not big, biggie. Now, the weapon we're looking for is not inside that chest. It's actually inside this one here. And you can see they have little exhibitions here, like the trains and stuff, which is pretty awesome. Um, no Wu Tai stuff, sadly. Nope. No Turtle Paradise newsletter. It's not here. It's not in the whole game, sadly. Now, what you need to do is, you get here, and you're gonna cross over here, and then you're gonna cross over that one, and you're gonna get the chest, of course. 
Now obviously since I already played through the game and I already got that chest and I have the weapon, it's impossible for me to get the weapon again. Instead what you get is this. A potion, I already have them. Sorry about the pause there, I don't know, sometimes the game just decides to go pause instead of going to the menu. Now the weapon in question is the purple paint. Pretty good. Now the weapons here, they are not ultimate weapons. I repeat, they are not ultimate weapons. They are just weapons. The reason being that ultimate weapons in Final Fantasy VII don't start appearing until I think the second disc, late on the second disc game on the third one. So they're gonna do the same here with this game. And if you want ultimate weapons, you have to wait until part two or part three. That's what you have to do, sadly. Now that we've made it over here. Now go up. Hand over hand, huh? That's fine. Bring it on. And the monkey bars, which I don't really like. I don't like how they made them. I, it feels clunky. They could have done a way better job with this. Especially when you have to turn. She stops, she goes, she grabs them wide, one by one. It's just it's just annoying. You have to stop, move around, you know, it, it, it's not fluid. I wish it was a little bit more fluid or faster. See so, you know, all that just to do a simple turn. And sometimes if you get to the edge and there is not a marker there. Guess what? You cannot this go down. So you actually have to go to the marker. Now you might be thinking, huh, do I get straight forward to that Just one? Need to make it over there. No, because there's no marker over there. And since there's no marker, you cannot go down. So instead you have to go to this one. And then move a little bit forward. There's no marker here. But for some reason, it works. But if you were to get to the other side and not have a marker there, you wouldn't be able to get down. Why they did that, I don't know. I, I don't like the monkey bars. <sighs> Almost there. And hopefully Just they... If they can't make them work properly, uh, I, <laughs> it, it's better if they don't return, honestly. And we're gonna do the same. Just push forward and she's gonna do the jump automatically. So, no big deal, no. And yeah, those of you who wants to look under Tifa's skirts, there's nothing, she's actually wearing shorts. I don't know if in the Japanese versions she is not wearing shorts. I uh, heard something about making the color black in the US release. Now, in these ones you do have to do something. When the triangle pops out, you press it, and then you press it again, and there you go. That's all you have to do here. <laughs> That's some fine work. Uh, I might be able to disable security from here. Huh? Ha! Hot damn, girl! But I didn't do anything. Shit, I'll take it. So you can use that to look up what floor the research facility's on? I think so. Give me a sec. <sighs> Bingo. Professor Hojo's lab. 65th floor, looks like. Huh. Guess we can only get to the 59th floor via the elevators or stairs. To access any level above that, we need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is then. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so we took down the shields to that area and now we are going up. So Let's go. Oh, my bad. Didn't notice that there. <laughs> I 
Now this is where the paths are gonna diverge. Now here's the Harley Daytona, of course. But before I show you the paths, you want to go over here because eh, there's just some cool stuff. There's a cafeteria here. They're not selling items or anything. Let's see if this opens up. Here we go. Yes, this is the vehicle room as you can see here. There's a few vehicles. Some bikes, of course. This is interesting. This is pretty new. As you can see, they're one of the police bikes. And here is a chest. But like I told you guys, most of these all they have is just repeat items. I've just shown you because if you're playing through with me or you're just interested in what does that chest has, then you can see it. Now, I'm gonna show you both routes, so let's start off with the stairs because that's the one people really want to see the stairs. I might be thinking the stairs, man. The stairs, yep. You have got to be shitting me. Nope. We're a lot less likely to get caught this way. But a lot more likely to die of boredom. It's only 59 floors. Nothing to it. Well, at least it ain't a race. Small blessing. 59 flights of stairs. Let's go. So yeah, in the original game, you actually do this if you want to. Like up there. More security and restrictions. It's not going to get any easier. We're going to be exhausted by the time we finally get to the top. As long as you pace yourself, you'll be fine. Maybe we should take a quick break. Come on, Barrett. As you can see here, Barrett does not like the idea. You can stop if you want. You can even say it's for me. Just say you can't hack it. I'll hack you, jackass. Oh, that's enough from both of you. Stupid arguments aren't going to get us there faster. But Tifa, I wasn't... Not now. Save it for the top. Yeah. <laughs> well, as you can see here, Cloud got tired. Yeah, I'm actually holding the run button and nope, he does not go faster. He actually got tired. Hey, wait up. You can see the number of the floors they're at and no, you cannot switch between them. So, yeah, they actually make you go up here. Guess these labs and shit are all the way at the very top. Yep, the very top. That's good to know. Cloud, keep an eye on Barrett. Copy. What was that? I don't think I heard you. Speak up. I'll keep an eye on Barrett. Uh, thanks for the assist. Whatever. <laughs> this is so crazy that they actually kept that. This part of the game is something that you think they would have never done. But I can imagine somebody that has never played the game, somebody that has only what after children. Wait up. It has seen this it, first time here and be like, what the fuck is this? Why do I have to climb up these stairs? Well buddy! We did when the game came out and there was no internet and shit and we had to take it, sit there and take it because some of us thought that there was no other way around into the building. Where are you? Hey! Just a few floors behind you. <laughs> yeah, more like Oh you're sounding ten. better. Think I've got like a stair climbers high. Glad to hear it. Now like the original no, there's no items. Yeah. You just go all the way. I said, wait up. Barry, I cannot wait up. Oh, you tired? I was. But I'm feeling okay now. What are we waiting for? Let's 
throw! You really are doing better. We we gotta keep moving. <laughs> to keep moving. <laughs> and Barry passed us because we cannot run or anything. I actually pressing the buttons, nothing happened. And no, it didn't Let's break go. or anything like that. So, yeah. I don't know why they did that, but right. They really want you to eat these stairs. It's like, oh, you remember the stairs? Now we're gonna make them even worse, which they did. They did because in the original, you could just go up and up and up and up and up and up at the same speed. Here is like, no, you're halfway there. Okay, we're gonna slow you down. No reason. No freaking reason to do that. You don't have a stamina gauge. Cloud shouldn't get tired. It's just. What tell me? These stairs? All these stairs? Never gonna end! No, they're never gonna end. Just like the stairs in Super Mario 64. When you go to the final Bowser and you don't have the stars. They don't end. I don't think the stairs are talking. Well, duh. And don't go say, oh, speedrunners can do a certain jump and stuff. That doesn't count. I was joking. Oh, man. 45. I don't know how Cloud Baron Thief can go around without a bottle of water or two. Man, it doesn't... it... it doesn't... <laughs> it makes sense that I'm climbing up these stairs. Worst and my AC broke ever. and it's... Give me a suicidal last day. At least, so fucking hot. At least, at least that didn't have an end. Let's shut up. Oh, 49. state to fight anyway so what should I do shut up and climb shut up and move uh, the song actually rolled over <laughs> it's fucking it is fucking crazy clouds like ah oh, my feet I'm dead my legs Tifa is at the 56th floor. Barrett's one floor ahead of us. Yes, Barrett. Another thing that I find that Tifa and Barrett should have found weird was that Cloud didn't know where the lab was. As a soldier, if you have played Crisis Core, you know that they're stationed here and they know the layout, so. That's another thing telling you that Cloud wasn't a real soldier. But they're not gonna reveal that in the game. And yeah, spoilers. I wanna go back. Barry wants to go back. You wanna go down all those stairs you just climbed? Uh, I don't know why they made it so Cloud gets tired. Instead of making him get tired a little bit. Further up. Hey Barrett. Another day, another struggle. Climbing stairs, so much trouble. Oh, why don't we start climbing mountains? Well, we'll have a buggy, so buggy's good. I want to get. I can't wait until we get the high wind. Uh, that's gonna be such a beast. We made it! Cloud, slow down!
The real challenge starts now. Okay, let's go. So we're back down here. I'm gonna show you the alternate route, basically the head on. So you open that up, you go to this elevator and just selecting the original, you're gonna see something really familiar. So what can we expect further up? <laughs> More security and restrictions. It's not gonna get any easier. <gasps> Tenth floor. Doors <gasps> opening. Intruders! <laughs> 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 Yes, just like in the original, you are gonna be stopping at random floors. And having a fight or looking at a low cutscene. Good job. Whatever, man. And Let's you might go. be thinking, huh, maybe you can go over here. Denied. Nope, you can't. Wasn't expecting that. Think anyone knows we're here? Nah. We took him down quick. Going up. Doors closed. Wonder if it'll stop again. People ought to try using the damn stairs sometime. If it happens again, we'll deal with it like before. We got this. <sighs> that didn't take long, did it? 20th floor. Doors open. <laughs> <laughs> Nice job, man. Sling peaceful. Overcharged them. Nothing to it. That did the job. So let's go back to the elevator. It's always the same one, by the way. Straight on up to the top now. Come on. We just keep getting waylaid, don't we? If you want to take the stairs. Now that you mention it. No. 30th floor. <laughs> Door open. Heads up. Could be trouble. <laughs> People work here too. She probably called for help. 40th floor. Who's it gonna be next? Door open. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. We're safe here. What about you, Mom? You okay? <sighs> Good. That's a relief. <sighs> what? <sighs> oh, they gotta be kidding. Going out. No, we haven't heard anything new yet. But they told us that Avalanche could attack again at any time. Just get somewhere safe, okay? Yeah, about that. A whole lot of normal people with families and friends work for Shinra. People just trying to support their loved ones as best they can. I know it's not exactly a revelation, but... It's easy to forget. A good man who serves a great evil is not without sin. He must recognize and accept his complicity. He must open his eyes to the truth that his corporate masters are profiting from the planet's pain. Only then can he redeem himself. I know you know this. <sighs> I do. Tifa. We need to focus on saving Aerith. I know. I will. 59th floor. Door open. Mm. 
70, 80, 90, 100%, 110. Mako supersaturation confirmed. <laughs> Engaging materia cooling to reduce temperature. <sighs> Madame Director, you have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably atrocious. <laughs> Mako density and materia integrity are both holding steady. Registering mass increase in core materia. Registered. We're leaving. Materia growth accelerating, outpacing models. Registering crystallization within the reserve tanks. The reaction is out of control. We have to stop it quickly. Clean up the mess, would you? Ma'am. So this is the Skyview Hall, huh? Bet this place cost a fortune and then some. Let's look for reception. So we met this guy you all. You guys saw this two routes. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.